Hello and thank you for joining me on my task management video part two. Um, we're going to be using the A through E method tonight to categorize your tasks. And if you didn't watch my last video, I recommend you watching that first. You can scroll down my Facebook page or find it on YouTube under Chrissy Blevio and it's called Throw Your To-Do List Away. I'm Chrissy Blevio. I am a very busy mom and an entrepreneur. And I've been studying lately on task management, time management, productivity, priorities. I'm reading a great book called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. I'm learning a lot and so I'm sharing it with all my, my Facebook family and all my social media family. So get those that list of tasks out. You should have a list of tasks for each goal or project you're working on. You've already figured out what your top priority tasks are in the video yesterday. The A tasks are those top priority tasks you figured out yesterday. Now, you should have two, you might even have three. And I would even further categorize them. Those are your A tasks, categorize them A1, A2, A3, according to product, productivity and effectiveness. And if you remember how you did the exercise yesterday, that should tell you how to categorize them. I'm gonna have a hard time with that word categorize. Okay, the next category of ta tasks is your B category. Now go through your tasks and really be honest and realistic with yourself. Look at your tasks and when you each read each task, ask yourself, is this a task I should do? And if I don't, there will be some consequence. That's a B task, somewhat important tasks. So also categorize those. If you have two or three of those, decide which is most important, you know, B1, B2, B3, if you have a third. Next category is C. These are tasks that are nice to do but there's really no consequence if you don't do it. And this is a, these are tasks that a lot of us waste time on because they're usually something that, yeah, it's nice to do. It's something you like to do. And we will have a tendency to do those tasks we like to do because <laughs> we're trying to avoid those harder tasks, usually some A tasks, and that can be a real time waster. C tasks are tasks that are nice to do, but there's no consequence if you don't do, the, do them. D, D is for delegate. Now there are some tasks you have on that list that you don't have to do, they could be done by somebody else. Now depending on if it's a home project or goal or something from work, uh, see if one of the kids can take on a task or two for you. See if your husband or your wife would be happy to grab a task. Um, if it's at work, see if you can delegate to a coworker or hopefully you manage some people, maybe you can pass it on to somebody under you. E is for, this is my favorite one, <laughs> E is for eliminate. There are tasks on your list in all probability that if you do not do and somebody else doesn't do, there, there is absolutely no consequence. So those are E tasks. I wouldn't even categorize them E1 or E2. If it's an E task, I would put a line through it because I'm willing to bet you have more than enough on your plate. If there's no consequence for it, for not doing it, get it off your plate. So once you're done with this exercise, you will have a clear list of, you know, exactly what your top priority tasks are each, each one. And that's how you work your day. So if you found this information helpful, I hope you did or entertaining, or if you just liked the video, I would really, really appreciate your feedback. If you could just write yes or make a comment in the comment section. Tomorrow night, we're gonna be talking more about the Eat That Frog book. We're actually gonna be talking about frogs. How to eat big, fat, slimy frogs. So doesn't that sound appetizing and interesting? So I hope you join me tomorrow night, about this time, about seven o'clock-ish, and join me for that video. You have an awesome night, and thank you so much for watching.